Hello, my peeps. This is Gina. How is everybody doing today? This is, <laughs> it's like 6.30. Oh, it's going on 7 o'clock right now. In the morning, I couldn't sleep. I had to wake up and do a video. So I'm going to do a video with you. I got these beads here from Jesse James. And they're enameled pieces. They're very pretty. I like the colors. Gold. Gold turquoise. So, I keep them in order. So anyway, I made this. This is wire on the outside. And then I fused it together by wire wrapping it on both sides. Beautiful. And then attaching this piece. This is a separate piece. So I attached this to this. And then because of what I'm making today, I decided to attach a couple more beads and then add a little dangle at the bottom. So this is my focal. Beautiful. Okay, shall we get started? Here's my 49 strand. And for your, um, uh, well, I should say you, uh, OGs, of all my OGs that have been with me, you know I like my 49 strand. And I'm going to repeat myself on a, probably every video because I don't know who's new. And when you're new, you, you kind of need to know what's going on. So, here's my 49 strand. There's 7 strand, 19 strand, which is a lot cheaper. But this, this one is the softest drape. It's strong. Uh, it's 49 strand, and it shows you in a picture how, how the strands are put together. And then they have a clear coating on the outside. It's all stainless steel, clear coating. Very nice. Love, love this stuff. So, and I'm going to work off the spool because I feel that way. I don't waste as much um, string. I was going to say line and it's like, no, string. Like I said, I just got up. <laughs> So, anyway, my grandson was here last Saturday. My husband went camping. Uh, he went by himself. So I had to stay back here and watch my grandson on Saturday. <laughs> I have a Alexa. And he's like, Alexa, roast me. I'm like, <laughs> and she does. She actually comes up with a joke. <laughs> I didn't know she could do that. Uh, evidently, Alexa can do anything you want her to do. I always say good morning. Good morning, Gina. And then she's like, the, you know, do you want me to tell you about the weather? Would you like to learn about the news? It's like, news? I don't like listening about news because it's so drab and dreary out there and bad I don't watch the news I just it brings me down it just does I'm like gosh I just I don't like watching it so I'm like hmm beads <laughs> I get upset or I don't know beads are therapeutic for me just come in here and just start stringing some beads. And then talking to you guys. I thought about going live because then I can interact with you guys. Here. Here's one side, which isn't very long. I knew it wasn't going to be. Oh, it's only five and a half inches. So I got I got some chain here. That'll help us get it up around the neck. And now I'm going to secure it to this with a wire guard. 
So first I need my crimp, put my crimp bead on. Get in here. There's my crimp bead. And now we're gonna put the wire guard on, which is exactly what it is. It's just a little horseshoe type. And you string your string through there, all the way through there, and this will help protect your string or wire from getting frayed because wire on wire will, that it? No will fray eventually. So you put one of these on and it helps make it last longer. And for some reason it's not going in this hole. They look good. Let's try this hole. It's not going, why is it not going in? Huh? Something's going on here. Alright, let's get real close and shove it. Oh, I might have to get a new one out. It does not, huh? Well, that's the first time that's happened. So, let's try this one. Try this one. Or I could just snip off the end I can just do that. That is, oh, that's a double side. I don't want the double side. This one. Sometimes it gets frayed on the end and you just got to start fresh. All right, let's see how that did. There. Ah, that's the problem. Go up down there. See how... I'm going to put this through this crimp bead. Okay, some people will just take a wire and crimp it. And then on the other side, they got to measure and make sure they got the right size loop so they can crimp it. Me, I push the wire guard up to protect my wire. And there's no guessing game as to how big to make the loop because it already makes it for you. I love wire guards, but some people do not. I do. And then I'm going to squeeze this together a little bit, just a little bit. Squeeze, pull it down. There. Now it's nice and snug in there. I'm going to crimp it. Crimping, we always get in the back groove first to give it a little divot, and then in the front groove to fold it over. So the back groove, squeeze, turn it, put it in the front groove. See what I mean by the, the divot? It smashed a little center piece out, and then you got the wire coming out of each side. And now I'm going to push them together. Beautiful. And then give it a tug test. Tug test. I yank on it pretty good because I don't want it to come apart. Alrighty. And then that's our waist. Very, very, very little. About an inch, inch and a quarter probably. All right, now I'm going to scoot all these beads down. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to connect this. I should have connected it right to it. I wonder if I could do this. Get in there. Let that go for now. There. Whoops. That didn't work. I'm trying to get it 
in that circle because I probably I should have just done it right to it but because it's open I'm thinking if I can get that in there and swirl go around the loop go around the loop it's a little snug there I actually pounded on the wire there so it's nice and firm okay now we're set that's a lot easier to do it that way than it would have been to finish this off okay I'm gonna give myself my fingers lengths to give me some working room with the wire <clears throat> excuse me all right we need another crimp bead dog hair floating around I just dropped my car off yesterday there's the crimp bead and it's gonna get detailed I for the past three years I have not detailed the inside of my car I've always washed and waxed my car and then detailed the inside. And I just, I didn't get around to it three years ago. Last year, I never even washed my car. Now this year, the same thing. I just, I've been having medical issues to where I just can't do it. So I'm paying somebody to do it. <laughs> and he's, I'm showing them, they go, there's dog hair in the back from my uh, back seat down on the floor in the carpet and so I showed him he goes oh I can get that out no problem I got stuff to get you know it'll grab it and pull it out I'm like okay so before I left I'm like have fun because <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of work detailing it it took me like all day to do it. I really don't want that kinking off. See how it's kinked off to one side? I really don't like that. So I'm going to pull this back out, put this down through a bead, pull it out of the way, and put that down, pull it through, and whoops, there we go. Pull, pull, there we go. Now it's straight on. Beautiful. That's the way you want it. And then you want fluidity in your necklace. You want it to be able to move. So you don't want it too tight. You want it snug, but not too snug. And then see how that wire is sticking up over the wire guard? Can't have that. Pull it down. Okie dokie. Now we're going to snip. No, we're going to crimp. We're going to crimp and then we're going to snip. Put it in the back groove first. And squeeze. And then in the front groove. And squeeze. There we go. And now I can either shove this back out. Or just snip it off. I, I don't know. Sometimes when I snip it off, I'm, I'm scared it's just going to find its way out of the bead. And then it's going to be poking somebody. Nobody likes pokies. There we go. And snippy doo da. There we go. One side down. Now, one side to go. So we're going to start on this end. No. Because we got an end down here so I can wrap it around that. Okay, dokie. My brain's not working this morning. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Okay. These beads are just kind of laying everywhere. I gotta make sure I stay in my sequence. There we go. Now three of these. Nope, four. Three. Four. And then we got our turquoise surrounded by these rhinestone rondelles. Beautiful turquoise. Faceted so it gives you a sparkle. And I think I do this. I think. Yeah. I wanted it to do go do it on a different bead. But it's too late now doing it on this. I don't know if it looks right, but it's gold on gold, so that works. Alrighty, now we have uh, turquoise, then, nope, not this one, this one, this one, and then we're going to wrap this turquoise around some Crystal rondelles. And then our big bead. And it has other holes, so I'll try to get it through. Oh. Come on. There we go. I get it come through the the very center. All right, I gotta be all by itself for some reason. So I have five of these, four of these, then this, then this. Oh, there was a turquoise. There's a turquoise. This is backwards. That part is backwards. So, I'm going to pull back until we get to this part here. And then put our bead on. Then we do these. See if I can go one round. There. Oh, and then I pulled it out. <laughs> did you see that? Did it? Gosh darn it. And then it stuck to my finger or something. It just kind of sprung back out. Just lovely. Let's see if I put it on right. All right, we got turquoise. Yeah, I did not. I need that turquoise surrounded by the rondelles. See, I cannot talk and work at the same time, but I'm at least paying attention to my my uh, sequence because without that, it'd be a jumbled up mess and nobody wants to see that. Oh my goodness, I can't seem to do this right. Hang on. I forgot my big ball. So it's the big ball. We're going to do that. Get in there. It's got different holes. So there we go. And then we have one of these. And then we have these. Uh, this one, this 
this one and this one. Then we have one of these. Yay! Yay, I did it, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, now, crimp bead. And wire guard. Where is, I got, oh, I got wire guard missing. All right, let's put this guy on. There we go. Down through the other side. And down through the crimp bead. And we want to pull it up. Actually, take the crimp bead off. And we're going to uncross it. Put it through here. Now put the crimp bead back on. That will work. I gotta get my crimp bead back. There we go. There we go. And the wire, pull it down. These drop down. Now I'm going to squeeze this together a little bit. Bring the crimp bead up. Then we're going to crimp. See, I had, like, how do I want to put my crimp bead? Do I want to have my crimp bead so there's wires showing here to give it a little movement? But then I thought, well, if there's movement, it'll cut the wire eventually. And I was taking apart a necklace, and the bead was right up tight with the wire guard. There's no room for it to wiggle. Therefore, it won't have any room to cut the wire. And it looks pretty. No wire showing. So we're going to crimp it right like that. We're going to go to the back groove. And squeeze. Go in the front groove. Oh, turn it. It's got to turn. And... Squeeze. Is that tight? No, nope, I didn't squeeze. Nice and snug. Come on. Sometimes when you get it in there, it just wants to do its own thing. You just gotta tell it who's boss. There we go. There's a nice crimp. A little bit of wire showing, but that's okay. Alrighty, we're gonna cut off this extra, which I got a little too much there. Because when the wire's expensive, you don't wanna cut off too much wire and you're wasting. You know, you will have waste, but you don't wanna waste too much. And snip. There. Wowza. Oh, sun's coming up. I thought there was a light on back there. Nope. Sun's shining in. Alright. Let gravity do its thing. All the way down there. Make sure it's fluid. We're going to put on... Oh, I got to cut it off. Might help. There we go. Put our crimp bead on. I think I have to get out uh, another wire guard because I thought I got out four. I got 
before. Yeah. Alrighty. Let me get out one. Wrong one. That's jump rings. Wrong bin. There we go. Okay. Crimp bead first. Wire guard next. Up and over, head around. Down through the crimp bead. Yep, down through the crimp bead. And then we're gonna pull. If you put the crimp bead up here too far, it won't pull the necklace up. There we go. And I'm going to go through one bead. Just to have it so it sits nice and pretty. I have to go through another bead. There we go. Pull it nice and snug. Snug. There we go. Fluidity. And pull the wire down. Hang on to it. And I'm going to crimp. I'm going to hang on to it up here. And squeeze and turn maybe I'll use something else to get it to close out because it just wants to twist on me where's my other uh, on Tara right there maybe I'll just use these Nope. Just wants to turn on me. So, hang on to it up here. Get in there. And squeeze. There. I'm just going to tell who's boss. See? Nice and pretty. Now I want to shove this back up through because I don't want it to wiggle its way through and be a pokey pain in the foot. Come on. Wowza, this side is just testing me. All right, let's see if I can just shove it. No, no, it's not going to shove. So I'm going to pull it through. Wrong side. I thought I did it on that side. Yep, that was the wrong side. Okay, snip her off. Right down to the... Crimp bead. And there's our waist. Alright. Now... I'm going to add some chain. I probably should have done it to the chain too. See, I just, I get going 
and I just want to do, I want to show you how to do something and then I forget to latch it on. But it's not a big deal. I just rather have it secured on here because then it's more secure than putting a jump ring on. So I'm just going to put some oval jump rings. I'm going to find my oval jump rings and put those on. And the gold just doesn't seem to match. There we go. So, oval jump rings are the same as round jump rings. As a as of opening and closing them, secure it and open one side. Always twist. I twist towards myself to open it and then twist away from myself to close it. So here's the chain, here's our necklace, and then close it up. There we go. Now we do the other side. And oval, oval jump rings, because the cut is on the side, your chain's gonna hang here and here. So it's kind of a, it's stronger and better to use. So if you can, buy oval jump rings. And I just started buying them. So like, they work. And it gives you a little added security. Close it up. Click, click, click. Now, we need a jump ring here. This one's already got a jump ring on it. Oh, wait. Now I need another jump ring. Let's see if this will... Whoop. Open this up. Hold it with this side and just twist with this side. Just twist on one side. Don't want to over crank it. And then we have our clasp. And close that up. Click, click, click. It is done. And then put it on here. Oh, let's see how long it is. From there to here. Oh, it's 18 inches. It is an 18 inch necklace. So I'm thinking I should probably put on an extender. Just in case somebody else wants to wear it and they just, they have a bigger neck. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's got a jump ring and a lobster claw at the end. So we'll take that off. Or we could use this one. That one's the same one. It's okay. I don't know where all the lobster claws are coming from, but we'll use it. This is like extra chains that that I've cut, and I just I save them for extenders. So right now I want to take off this. Um, Lobster claw clasp. I find the. Come on. Am I even turning it? There we go. Hang on to it. Twist it open. Pull off the lobster claw clasp. And then we want to put it on this ring. Close it up. Click, click, click. Now, when you have an extender chain, it's nice to chip just to finish that off. Put um, a little, like you can put one of these on. Or I've got some other things too. Uh, let's 
let's see, where did I put them? Right there? No. I thought I had them right there so I could get to them. Are these it? Back here. Yes, these are it. Okay. These are like a little dangles. And they're all different colors. Oh, I got a... Okay. Bronze, silver, gold. Here we go. And gold. These I'll put back. It's funny, there's a lot of silver. I guess maybe I was just putting crystals on. But we're just going to open this last ring here. And see how this has got a flat side? See how this? It's got a flat. It, it's not really round. It's kind of squared off. These are harder to work with, just to let you know. So you hang on to it good. Not too tight because you'll... There. And then we're going to slip this on. Or we're going to have to put it on a jump ring. We're going to have to put a jump ring on it. It's not fitting. It's not fitting. So we just need a small jump ring to put that on. Just one. These are like four millimeter jump rings. Usually I have everything out, but like I said, I woke up and come in here and I'm like, I just want to put this together. <laughs> like, uh, well, that makes me with you guys a little bit longer. That's all. Oh, I didn't want to do that because that was already open. Close it up. Close it up. Close it up. Oh, this one's softer. There we go. Nice and closed. Put it on here. And put... No. You know what? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Close this up. I want it closed. Open the jump ring. Open, says me. Open. Now. We're going to let it fly out of the handles of the pliers, grab it, put this on here, and then add it to the end of the chain. I need my needle nose. And close. Oh my goodness, we are done. Alrighty, get these all out of the way here. Here is our focal. And then here is our extender chain with a little, little dangle. It's not all in there. There we go. There we go. One necklace down. I got one more to do. I'm going to do one more. So until next time, happy beating. <laughs>